Mr. Joe Dantisi has arrived at CBS Radio World Headquarters in Green Tree, the home of News Radio 1020 KDK, and also the place that you can find all those great recipes every single Sunday at 8. This week, it's all about healthy eating. And let's start with the produce department in John Clements. And it's all healthy. If you think about it, Joe, you're well, yeah. looking, looking for zero calories and some good content, especially even bananas and electrolytes. It really is the way to go. Yeah. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. All right. When you think healthy eating, what do you think? Well, I think produce first, number one. A lot of greens. Okay. But you know what? The, you know, the produce is number one, especially this time of year. We have so much variety, all the newer products, all the fresher products are coming in. It's all a lot of homegrown product. It's all locally grown. A lot of it's locally grown. Right. And, uh, you know, the closer you grow to home, the fresher it's going to be when you get it. Plus, the freight cost is lower. The cost comes down somewhat, too. But uh, how about uh, protein from the meat department? You need a little bit of protein, too. And uh, the, um, uh, the, the produce has, has vitamins that you can't get anywhere else. Uh, and it's a natural way to get your vitamins. And it's low calorie. It's, uh, there's no fats in it. it uh, it's a perfect food. Just to give you an idea how we like to spread the love, talk about Steve Sheets for a moment. Our buddy Steve Sheets. This happens to be his K-Cup coffee. You only have nine stores with tractor trailer fulls of K-Cup coffee. You think you could have brought me one today? You didn't ask me to. <laughs> I know, you're right. I figured you had coffee, that's but, why I didn't bring it. But you and I have talked, and you've talked to him before because I've made out that introduction between you two. He really is a class act. They do oh, yeah. a great job, right, It's come so far that, uh, you know, over the last, what, 10, 12, 15 years, how far they've come from where they were. Uh, they've um, they put together a great or organization. You know, you actually made my day because I get to talk groceries for just a couple of minutes. And our wonderful sales exec, Christine Fisher, who does all the heavy lifting, is actually shooting this video. So we even have her doing this today. And she called in with a recipe last week. We love her, and we're happy that she's helping us with uh, this video today. I want to talk about some vendors that have been with you forever. And I'm heading to Moon Township after this to do some video work later today. I love Gia Russa, Joe. Gia is a great company, and uh, they've. Uh, uh, we, we picked them up here in Pittsburgh right from the beginning when they started moving into the Pittsburgh market. And they have a lot of unique products that we, that we carry, that we feature for them. And uh, it's been a great partnership for us. All right, and, and one more I want to talk about, Saloni's. You know, I'm always bragging on Saloni. So I'm at this restaurant in Ohio the other night doing some video work. And the man who owns it, a fellow Italian, Lou Valino, sitting at the bar with just a dinner roll. And he's breaking bread and it looks really good. And it's, got, it's like a clove type of thing with like four halves to it. Yeah. I said, where'd you get that? He goes, well, Saloni's makes these special for us. There you go. And I just said, boy, wouldn't Joe be proud to hear that? Because we're always talking about this great Pittsburgh company. And here they are, this little restaurant tucked away in eastern Ohio that does a lot of pasta dinners and a lot of dinners. But they still make something unique for them that they can call their own. You don't find that with many companies no, anymore. But, uh, Saloni's a local company, and it's, it's locally controlled. And uh, there are things that you can do with Saloni's that you can't do with national companies. But how about, how about Joe Carson with oh, United Dairy? The best. The, out of Ohio. Out of, he's out of Ohio, but we consider him local because it's right across the border he's from. And as a matter of fact, he lives in Upper St. Clair. So. <laughs> Does he? So, so Joe's local. So the milk business has been doing very well, but he's worked very hard. So, you know, you're trying this curbside service where you want to get people to come and call their groceries in and pick it up. Right. So from now on, every Friday, I can call you and give you my grocery list and you'll bring my groceries. Well, we're bringing it. We're not, we don't have it refined yet, but we're bring, Frank's working on it. All right. What's listen, uh, what's happening at the stores? Obviously, I mentioned Moon Township and Hopewell and uh, Beulah Road, Ferguson Road, uh, McKnight Road, uh, Hopewell, I mean, Ingemar, uh, Bellevue, and Heimer, uh, what is it? Highway Street on the north side. Well, but then, then there's Banksville that, that was due, due for remodel, but uh, as, as fate would have it, our architect passed away this week, Ralph Merovich, and he does the... Uh, Wait a minute. Yeah. Before we go any further, yeah. the great Ralph Merovich, yeah. God rest his soul. Joe, you got to talk about this guy. He's been a part of our conversations for years. Oh, yeah. We, uh, We've done a lot with Ralph, and he's it, not just an architect for us. He's a he's a, a very very dear friend that uh, we we we've done a lot together. He's uh, I really miss the guy. I'm going to miss the guy. He's uh, he's the best. Well, let me just say this: Joe's always said a good deal is when it's good for both sides, and he's always talked about the people who were there with him early in this business as he was making his way to becoming the company that they are today. And Ralph Maravich was always one and Bob Sindrich, another, Bob Sindrich. that were always a part of that inner circle in the beginning that helped this man become who he is today and well, he's a class yeah, our, 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 our present um, advisors, you know, go back, well, actually John Hogue, our, our present legal counsel, counsel right. had his roots, roots with uh, Bob Sindrich together. And it's just evolved since uh, John's taken over our accounts. But um, 
uh, Ralph, I think more than anything else, he probably died of a broken heart because his wife, Jean, she, she passed away, I'm going to guess about six, eight months ago. And uh, uh, Ralph was the same after she after she left. They did everything together. Ralph was 86 years old. I shouldn't even say his age. That's okay. He's 86 years old. He was 86 years old. So uh, so he lived a good, long life, good, uh, hard worker. The thing about Ralph is that, that uh, I'm going to miss, too, is that um, as an architect, uh, he made things work. He, he was a practical architect. That whenever he whenever he built it, it worked. And he built a lot of buildings, a lot of the high rises out through Monroeville were his design. And the thing I remember, you always said he always made the pencil work, not only as far as the building, the design, but your pocketbook. And that, once again, is a good deal for both sides. Well, that's a good architect. That's what a good architect does. Well, I'm going to miss Ralph Maravich. So am I. Can Why you, didn't you, you tell me about this? Well, I, I just found out. <laughs> I went to the funeral home on Wednesday. So. I would have went with you, but to my thoughts and prayers, and his son still carrying on that great name and doing a lot of good Ralph, things. So Ralph Jr. Our thoughts and prayers go out to him. So healthy eating this week. We join you at 8 o'clock. Phone in at 866-391-1020, and I'll squeeze another $25 gift certificate out of him. So at the end of that hour, some lucky listener will take home that gift certificate. And believe me, folks, $25 goes a long way at one of your nine neighborhood Coons markets. How do you find the one nearest you? CoonsMarket.com. Good afternoon.